this is Katie. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about some necessities, like some you cannot skip on this items that you need for your first road trip. And obviously this could be for your second or third or 10th road trip. And this could be if you're going to be living in your car as well. A lot of you guys know that I've lived in this little car on and off for about nine years. And so I have a lot of recommendations of things that you actually might use on your first road trip. And so if you're going to have one list that you look at for your next road trip, I hope it's this one. So if you are interested in this video, I really hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep watching. Okay, so obviously this is just my opinion, but these are things that I really think could be helpful for your first or for your next road trip. I have the little list on my phone, because again, I've been living in this car on and off, but for about nine, nine and a half years. And most of that was driving around the country like on a really, really long road trip, essentially. And so these on this list, these are all things that I use basically daily. And one or two things that I don't use daily, but that I really think that you should have. And so let's just start. I'm going to talk about these items really quickly because I have like almost 20 things on this list. And so I just want to mention them all really briefly so that this video is not eight hours long. And so, okay, number one, what I think you need is a power inverter. The power inverter looks like this. They have different shapes and sizes, but essentially it plugs into your cigarette lighter and then it turns your cigarette lighter into a regular outlet. And this one has a USB as well. You can get these kind of anywhere. Amazon Target has them. This is a Duracell one. Um, but I like this for when I'm charging my computer, if I'm charging my camera battery, um, anything that could use a plug like this. Obviously, check the wattage and the voltage and all that kind of stuff to see if maybe you could use a hair straightener or a portable fridge. Just check all that first. But this comes in handy so much when I'm on the road. And you can get the cheaper ones are like 25 bucks. I think this was about 25 or $30 and it works fine. Number two, when we're talking about charging stuff, I really think it's important to have one of these. I guess it depends on your car, but I have a 2010, so I still have a cigarette lighter. You gotta get one of these things and then you have to get Mine's stuck, but you gotta get a cord uh, to charge your phone and or just to charge anything else you have that's a USB cord, you know? And most things nowadays come with those, but just make sure that you have something to plug it in, you know? So I will charge my phone with that, my Apple Watch, my Kindle, stuff like that. And then also, 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 I don't have one in my immediate reach to show you, but you should really get a portable battery pack. Um, specifically, I would recommend getting one that is solar powered. So you could just like leave it either out on your dash to get the sun to charge, or if you're camping, or you're gonna be like sitting hanging out somewhere for a little while you can actually properly put it outside but I just think it'd be really good to have a separate battery pack as well to charge your items especially your phone okay the next thing oh do I have this to show you in immediate Reese yes hold on a lot of you guys if you've already seen a lot of my videos this is gonna come as no surprise this all oh, the lighting is gonna change sorry I'm in a real weird spot with the lighting if you've seen my videos you might be used to it by now but I highly recommend getting one of these can you guess what it is this is a steering wheel desk it literally just hooks onto your steering wheel like this. And then you can use this to eat on. You can use your computer on this. You can write little letters. You can do whatever you want. But they're like $16 to $20. They're really inexpensive. They're very thin, so they're easy to store. And it's just plastic, so it's light, and you don't have to worry about breaking it. I use this all the time when I'm living in my car, when I'm on a road trip. I literally use it all the time to eat and or to use my computer. So I highly recommend getting one of these if you have the space and if you think you're going to be eating in your car a lot or using your computer or something. What else? What else? Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, this is right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, next, this, please just go get this. I think I got this at Target, but you can definitely get them on Amazon and a bunch of other places probably have either this exact one or similar ones. This is a spray fan. This is the love of my life. This is by the brand O2 Cool, but again, I'm sure they have a lot of different ones, but essentially it's a fan, right? It's a fan. It's a light fan, but it's a fan. But the main reason that I would suggest getting this exact one is because you can put water in it or ice. And then there's a little spritzer button. So you can spray and fan yourself. Oh, there is still a little water left in here. I didn't think there was. But that's a game changer when it's warm out, especially now that it's getting into the warmer months, at least here in the States. I highly recommend getting this. And again, they're like $12 or something. But if you just want a fan, if you don't really care about the spritzer factor, which is like my favorite part, but if you don't want to deal with that and you just want a fan, then don't get this because the fan by itself on this is like not the selling point, you know? But you should still get some sort of portable fan, whether it runs on batteries or you can charge it through USB. Have a portable fan 
game changer in the car. And then if you're gonna be somewhere that gets really cold, you guys already know what I'm gonna say. A lot of this list, I've repeated most of this, but I just wanted to have like a, a little reference list. You guys know what I mean? Um, so if you're about to go on your first road trip, like wait, what did Katie say she really recommends? You know, that's why I wanted to do this video. But anyway, next on my list, if you're going somewhere really cold, is a zero degree sleeping bag. I have one from the brand Kelty. They don't actually make my model anymore, but either a zero degree or even a 20 degree sleeping bag will be really, really helpful when the temperatures dip down below like 40 or 30. If you're only gonna be somewhere warm, then it's more important to get a fan and to get things that'll keep you cool. But if you're gonna be where it's always cold or even just that it gets cold sometimes, I really do recommend having a zero degree sleeping bag. It's not only gonna keep you warm, but it'll help keep you safe as well from the really, really low temperatures. All right, getting through this, getting through this list. I have so many things on this list. Next, pocket knife. Just have one, get one. I have several. I have one that I hook onto my car keys, like a little Swiss Army knife. And then I also have a bigger one that I will keep generally in my purse. And then also sometimes in my glove compartment. Really handy, definitely you should have a pocket knife. Next, reusable water bottle, obviously, so you're not just buying water all the time. I'm like buying bottles of water. If you get a reusable water bottle, you can go to places like the gym, even like places like Target and stuff have water fountains, or even just go to Starbucks and ask if they'll fill it. And then you can just wash it whenever you're at a sink. Okay, next on this list is to get a gym membership. I have a Planet Fitness membership myself, and I use these mostly to shower. Obviously, you can exercise there too, but I really recommend getting a gym membership to shower. And I have the black card at Planet Fitness, which is like $23 a month or so, but you can shower at any Planet Fitness in the country or work out at any Planet Fitness in the country. If you're gonna be living in your car just in one spot, you can just get a gym membership that's just in one town. But if you're gonna be on the road, I really recommend getting a gym membership. I know Planet Fitness has one that you can go to anyone in the country and maybe there are other gym chains that have those as well. Um, but yeah, literally $23 a month and you can go to any single gym in the whole country. And they don't really care if you just walk in and shower and leave. So if that's the only reason that you get it, still $23 a month for unlimited showers is very inexpensive compared to if you get a truck stop shower, if you just get one, it's like $12, you know, it's crazy. So I just recommend if you wanna be showering pretty often to get a gym membership. Specifically, the one I have is the black card at Planet Fitness. And then speaking of showering, I really recommend you getting a quick dry towel. Don't get a bath towel that even when it's folded, it's still like this big. Don't do that, get a quick dry towel. They're a lot thinner. Like if you Google or go on Amazon and you look up like quick dry camping towel or travel towel or something, they're gonna be a lot thinner and they're gonna dry quicker, obviously. So you won't have to worry about having like a wet towel in the car. Also, when you're showering, I recommend having shower shoes because you don't wanna go to public showers with your bare feet because that is disgusting. And so I just get flip-flops. You can literally go to Old Navy and get a pair of $3 or $2.50 flip-flops and just use those in the shower. Okay, I'm terribly sorry about the lighting. It's really bothering me. I hope it's not bothering you that much. But next on the list is baby wipes. I really, really, really recommend having baby wipes in the car or shower wipes, wet wipes, whatever like the body ones. Specifically, if you don't feel like showering that day, you're not near a shower that day, um, or just something happened and you wanna like clean up, you know, I have this little reusable thing that's Huggies brand, um, but it's reusable. So the top just opens. So when I run out, which I have a million times, I just go to the store and I just buy another thing of baby wipes and then I just put them right in here. I like having this little reusable thing because it hangs on my um, thing. What is this called? Headrest? that word. So then I don't lose them. It's very, very handy to just have them hanging right here. And I literally use those to shower when I'm on the road. I just use them in the shower. I just kind of, you know, wipe down the areas of my body that might get sweaty or feel gross. Um, and then that's really helpful as well. Again, if you're not near a shower or you just don't feel like showering that day, or you just kind of feel a little gross. And again, if you don't want baby wipes, they have proper like adult ones. I don't know if they're really any different, but on Amazon, they're like $10 for a pack of, I don't know, 30 or 40, like just body wipes. Like if you just type in like shower wipes, they should be there. Also, I have a lot of this stuff linked in my Amazon recommended that I have that link below. I always have it linked in my description on my Amazon. There are affiliate links and I get like a tiny little commission if you click on them. But oh, the lighting is so nice right now. Um, the sun is just going in and out. Um, but yeah, so I have everything or most of these things at least linked in my Amazon recommended if you want like actual links to the ones that I would recommend. Okay, another thing that I recommend is having hand sanitizer in the car. I have a liquid one that I just keep like right next to me here. And then I also have these wipes. I love using these wipes specifically right before I'm about to eat if I can't go wash my hands somewhere 
wear. Um, these are the everyone for everybody hand sanitizer wipes. These are a little expensive, but they're gluten free and I have a gluten allergy. And so when I'm about to eat, I will use one of these again, if I just don't have access to um, running water quickly. So these are gluten free. So I just know that my hands are like properly clean and my hands are gluten free right when I'm about to eat and touch my own food. But they also just have like any cheaper brands really at Target and stuff. I like the wipes for when I'm about to eat just because I feel like you can like really wipe the grime away and the bacteria away and the viruses away. Um, and then I just use the liquid more for just like everyday kind of stuff. Okay, next, I think that you should get a laundry bag and obviously not one of those like big laundry hamper things, but at places like TJ Maxx, I've seen them and like Target, Amazon, a lot of these places have all of these things. Um, but you can just get like a laundry bag that's actually, I feel like they come about this big and like pretty thin and like a little zippered pouch. And then you open it and it's like a proper laundry bag. I just think that's good to keep your dirty clothes separate. So then when you're on the road and you need to stop at a laundromat, you have it all right there. I also even keep my laundry detergent and my dryer sheets in the laundry bag so that it's just all together and quarters. Don't forget to have quarters. Okay, next, and this one is not necessarily a necessity, but if you like to read, this is what I recommend. I recommend getting a Kindle. If you're someone who likes to read and you wanna have that as an activity while you're on a road trip or while you're living in a car, having one or two books, yeah, that might be fine. But if you really wanna save space and you really, really like to read, get a Kindle because they're like, they're like this thin. They're like this big. Just comparatively having 10 books on a Kindle or 10 physical books, it's like a real, real game changer in terms of saving space in your car. But if you like to read, get a Kindle or uh, any kind of e-reader. It's obviously not a necessity, but I have one and I'm like, yep, that's, it's definitely a good idea for if you're going on a road trip and you like to read. Okay, back to the things that are necessities. Window shades. So when I sleep at night in my car, I use these little pins on my ceiling. I don't know if you can exactly see them. But I use these little pins on my ceiling and I pin up t-shirts and quick dry towels to cover my windows. I have a bunch of videos showing that. I actually just posted one a few weeks ago, but I also recommend getting like window shades. So I just keep mine right back here. Um, and they have all different sizes. I have some that will cover like little sections of my front windows that the t-shirts don't cover. And then I also have one for the actual windshield. So that's good for when you're sleeping to cover the windshield, but it's also good just to have to block the sun during the day to keep your car a little cooler. Okay, next is a first aid kit. You can have whatever size, whatever shape, however big you want it, but I do recommend having at least like band-aids, aquaphor, um, an ace bandage, some like pain reliever, just like a few things like that. Just to have them just in case. Okay, we're almost done. Now we're in kind of like the just in case section. Um, so have a first aid kit. Also, you really, 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 really need roadside assistance. I have mine through my car insurance, but you could also get AAA or just really any type of roadside assistance just in case your car breaks down. I have been, again, on the road on and off, but for over nine years, I've probably used my roadside assistance I'm trying to think at least four times, which might not seem like a lot like that. It's necessary, but when your car breaks down or you get a flat and you realize that you don't have a spare or anything like that, you're going to be so glad that you have roadside assistance. I actually used mine last summer because I, this is dumb. I'm about to admit something to you real dumb. I accidentally left my lights on all night while I was sleeping. And so I woke up and my battery was dead, but I called my roadside assistants and they came within an hour to jump my car. And obviously there are ways around that, but I just highly recommend having that when you're on the road, just in case. And then also as another just in case, you can get a car emergency kit. So it'll come with potentially like a little um, air compressor thing, just in case your tire goes a little flat. It'll come with jumper cables, a bunch of stuff like that. And so if you are kind of a little bit more like you want to do it yourself, and or you just want to be extra prepared, definitely a really good idea to get one of those kits. Again, you can get one on Amazon for probably like 50, 60 bucks and it'll come with like everything that you need. Something like an air compressor, you might have to pay a little bit more for, but there are things that you can buy on Amazon or at Walmart or whatever, um, just as again, a just in case to have in your car, almost like a first aid kit for your car. <laughs> And then the last thing, it has nothing to do with buying, but it's just something that I really recommend having in the car when you're on a road trip is cash. You need to keep cash in your car when you're living on the road, when you're on a road trip, you need to have cash. And I also recommend if you have more than one card, like if you have a debit card and a credit card, I recommend keeping them separate if you can. And then if you have cash, keep that separate as well, just in case something happens. You lose your wallet, it gets taken, just in case. And so if you have like a little secret hiding spot in your car, 
car, um, you could put that there, or you could always keep, you know, like one card in your pocket and one in your purse or something like that. See what you can do to at least keep two separate forms of payment just in case. But I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I know I talked extra fast in this video, but I just wanted to have this video as short as possible and just kind of give you guys a list of what I would recommend for your first or next road trip. These are things that I actually use. You know, I think there are gonna be some lists out there of things that you might think you need to buy, but then when you go on the road, you might not use them. So this is just my opinions, my recommendations of things that I use on the daily. And then again, things like a first aid kit and AAA or something, those are just in case but I think they're really, really good to have. And so I know I kind of sped through this video, but I wanted it more as a reference so that you don't have a three hour long video about what to bring on your next road trip, you know? And so I hope that this is helpful. Please let me know in the comments any other videos that you would like me to do. And I really hope that you're subscribed. I have a ton of other road trip and living in your car content on this channel. So I hope that you go check it out. And I hope that you go follow me on Instagram as well. I have a lot of reels and posts and stuff over there. So yeah, I guess it's gonna be it. Thanks again for watching. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.